Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the slideable menu plugin, uh, which is made by, by Bubble. And this is a nice uh, icon to add into your app, especially if you're doing mobile apps um, or if you're doing responsive apps in which you're going to use uh, both laptops um, as well as iPads and iPhones and droids and, and such. So it's, it's a nice uh, menu uh, option to, to add for the uh, user experience. Uh, so let's just get right into it. And I've already added the plugin over here. Now with this, um, there are options. So when you, when you set this up, you'll want to go in and, and manually type in what you want your menu choices to be. So those will target different um, uh, pages uh, in, in your app. Now if this was a mobile um, uh, device only and you were using the index page only then these wouldn't necessarily go to different pages like calendar here. I've got a calendar page right there. Um, you would be setting it up in the workflow to use groups um, instead of pages. So that's just something to be aware of and that's easy enough to set up. Now, let's go over to the workflow. So once we have these options defined, you want to come over to the workflow and you'll see these slide bar menu A's. So where are we? Slide, slide menu options. So it's basically this option here, slide bar menu A, and then you can go and fill in the rest. So let's see, I think I want to go and target the calendar first. So basically what we have here is for the element, again, slide bar menu A, when the slide bar menu's current option is calendar. All right, so over here when it's calendar. It is case sensitive, so, um, and spelling, so if you spell calendar here with a capital C and you come over the workflow and you have a lowercase C or you do D-E-R or whatever, um, the, the spelling has to be exact between the menu and your workflow here. So just if it does, if something doesn't work, just make sure you've got your spelling and cases all set up correctly. And it's as simple as sending um, the user to the calendar page. Similarly, you've got one for contacts. Go to contacts page and so forth. Now, if this was a single page app, uh, so everything's on the index page and you are using groups, then what you would do is just show or hide the group. And um, you probably would want to use uh, custom states to do that as well. I do have uh, another video on custom states and uh, down in the notes below, I'll put the link to that video. Uh, so you can reference that. So instead of going to pages, you'd be basically um, changing your uh, custom state to show whatever group that you want to show. Now, I want to go back over here for a moment. So you'll notice that I've got home, calendar, video chat, messages, and contacts. And I put in a conditional here. So this is kind of nice. It's basically got the same list of menu items, but I have logout on here. The reason being is that um, if the user is logged in, and uh, granted I have a login button here, or a logout button here, but if they wanted to go by the menu, uh, then they can go and do it right from the menu and, and pick logout. Now one thing to, to note, so I've got the condition when current user is logged in. So I've got a bunch of different choices here, um, and when they're logged in is when I want to go and show this uh, menu option. So that's just something to be aware of, some nice flexibility there. Okay, now the other thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna run a demo here in a moment for going to calendar, but I wanted to show on the calendar, <clears throat> and basically I've added log out here. And what I wanna do is just show you log out. So again, just for quick reminder, you go over here. Let me just scroll up a little bit. There we go. So slide menu option is clicked. So that's what you want to choose to go and enable this. So on logout, when the menu option is logout, I want to go and first thing I want to do is log the user out 
And then I want to go back to the index page or, or the home page, if you will. One thing I also like to do in my apps is have this um, when a user is logged out to go to the index page automatically. So as you can see on here, I've got a bunch of different pages and so forth, and, and chances are your app has a number of different pages. And what I like to do is um, kind of force users to go to the index page if they're not logged in. So that way, if somebody gets your, your link um, in your app, so let's see, let me go and do a refresh here so you can, um, actually I'm not showing my links. Uh, so when you go and um, if you don't do this and somebody has access to your links then and they're not logged in then they can go and kind of look around your app a bit but by by doing this when the user is logged out and forcing them to go to the index page it forces them to go back and and log in so this is kind of a little bit of a security uh, trick that you can add into your app as well all right so back to the index page and um, Let's give this a go. So basically, right now, the user is, is logged in. Um, I'm sorry, they're not logged in because they have this little welcome sign and their user's name is not there. So let's log them in. Okay, Bob Jones is logged in and now logged out. Like that. All right. So one other thing. So if I go to calendar page, it's going to do this refresh and it's going to come right back to the home page. That's because I put in there that if user is logged out. Okay, now if I go and log the user in, Bob Jones is logged in, and I go to calendar, I can go to the calendar page. All right, and I can go back to home, I'm still logged in. If I go back to calendar, and now I have this log out. So, what it's going to do is it's going to log the user out and go right back. So now I'm logged out. I don't have the welcome there for the person. If I go to calendar and it stays on the index page. Again, user is not logged in, so I prevent them from going to any other pages on my app. Now I only have this set up for the calendar. I'm going to show you the video chat. Now the video chat, I don't have it set up. So this is what I mean that if, if you don't have it set up that uh, if the user is not logged in, and they have access to your links to your app, then they can go and start looking around. So I'm going to go back to the editor here. And again, just to show you, what you want to do is when the user is logged out, force them to go back to your index page. And I'm going to go to my video chat, I think it was. I don't have it on here at all. Okay. So just something, to, uh, again, a little trick, something to be aware from a security perspective to uh, protect your app and people just kind of looking around. Um, that's kind of the, the basically it. Um, so I'll log the user back in here. And then when I do that, you can see now log out shows up here as an option. Log out and it's gone. So that's kind of a nice little way to use the conditional on here, when the current user is logged in, I can add log out as an option, and then the workflow to go and just log them out. I don't have to add go to index page because I'm already on the index page. Um, one thing actually to note on the calendar. So on here, calendar is not an option in the menu. Since they're already on the calendar page, uh, I just limited them from not picking calendar as an option. So this kind of simplifies the, the user experience. Whereas if I go back to the index page, you can see I have calendar as an option. But logout is not there as a default. Um, only when they're logged in is logout an option. Okay, and that's just a quick video on how to use the slide bar menu. Um, it's very nice. Um, icon to add to your app to kind of clean up your user experience, especially if you're doing mobile apps. Uh, so hopefully you find this video helpful. Uh, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. I do make a number of videos, so if you'd like to subscribe, uh, you'll get an auto notification of new videos as they become available. And thank you for watching.